Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. Like I said in the last lecture, this is an entirely optional lecture. This is a lab on Snowball. If you have your exam tomorrow and you're trying to cram, um, feel free to skip it. Um, likewise, if you don't really care about watching a Snowball in real life, uh, feel free to skip this lecture and go on to the next one. So let's go over to the AWS console. Okay, so here I am in the AWS console. Now we'll find Snowball under here. It's under migration and transfer. And if you go ahead and click on Snowball, now I've got a couple of jobs here. Um, the job that actually worked was called Please Send Me a Snowball. And we can see that I created the job, the uh, appliance has been prepared, a shipment has been prepared, it's been shipped to you, uh, and now it's been delivered. So it is uh, actually here at this stage, so it's in my office. And uh, by the time I send it back, we're going to put it in transit to AWS. It will be at AWS, they'll be importing, and then it will be completed. Now, it's gonna seem a little bit funny, um, but you know, I'm basically just gonna put a text file on this snowball which says, hello, Cloud Gurus, and send that back to Amazon. Uh, so I don't know if they're actually gonna see the data or not, but um, you know, the data is only gonna be in kilobytes in size, uh, and it is a petabyte, uh, you know, <laughs> petabyte size appliance, so they might just think I'm crazy. Uh, this was the other one that I had earlier on. This was for the Edge. Uh, and that was the one that uh, they couldn't send me uh, just because um, demand has outstripped supply. So that has been cancelled. Now you can go up here and create a job um, and go through all these different steps. Um, so plan your job. We're going to import into Amazon S3. We can go ahead and keep hitting next over here. I'm not going to go through all this um, because uh, you can do it yourself if you want, but you're just filling in things like your address details. Um, you need to set up an S3 bucket for it. You need to set your encryptions and then you're basically setting notifications which is using SNS, which we'll cover later on in the course, but essentially it um, sends you automatic emails telling you that your snowball is en route, and then you just review everything and hit complete. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go back to uh, the uh, Snowball's uh, landing screen and I'm going to go here and I'm going to get the client. So I'll need the client in order to uh, connect to my Snowball. Um, so I am using uh, Mac OS X currently. So I'm just going to go ahead and download that. And um, once it's downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and install it uh, on my Mac. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll look at the Snowball, uh, see what it looks like and uh, how we can plug it in. Okay, so here we are. We've got our snowball. It has finally arrived. Like I said, this is not a snowball edge. It's just a standard snowball. Uh, it is very big. It's very heavy as well, actually. I was surprised how heavy it is. Uh, I got quite a breath, out of breath just taking it upstairs. Uh, so let's have a look at what uh, each individual component does. Okay, so this is the front of the snowball. And you can see we've got this little thing just down here. It's like a little handle that we've got to open up. Uh, and it says open this panel first. Uh, flip it to lie on top of the case. And you can see my snowball has been damaged by somebody else. Uh, AWS, if you're watching this, uh, that's how it arrived. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and open this panel and flip it back up onto the top of the case. And so all we do is we push in uh, this little button here, push this up, and that opens up the top of uh, the case. And then you can see in here, this is our uh, Kindle that we're going to use uh, in order to access our snowball. Next thing we need to do is just turn it around. We've got to open up this panel on the back. Um, we just click in this button, push it up, and in here we can see at the very top uh, you've got the power cables and the ethernet cables, etc. And so here's our power cables and our ethernet cables. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwind all of this. I'm going to plug in the power and then I'm going to plug the ethernet cable into uh, my router or router, whatever, however you wanted to pronounce it, whether you're Australian or American, uh, downstairs. And then what I'm going to do is uh, fire up the Snowball client. One thing to note is that the Snowball um, doesn't come with its own power lead. Um, you, just, you do need your own adapter. Um, it's just a standard kettle plug though. So we're just going to plug that in now. Okay, so everything's plugged in. And all we need to do now is go down here and down just above the Kindle, you can see there's a power button. So I'm just going to turn that on. Boom. It's quite noisy. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go back over to my PC and I'm going to go ahead and install the command line tools and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, and it actually took a little bit of time uh, for my snowball to be ready, but once it is ready, you'll see this ready screen. And you can see I'm using RJ45 or standard ethernet uh, in order to connect in, um, but you can also use SFP and you can use copper or optical uh, fiber as well. 
Okay, so now we've installed the uh, Snowball command line tools, um, but in order to use it, we actually need to get our credentials. So we need to go into our Snowball uh, dashboard, then we just need to click in here and hit um, Get Credentials, and then you'll need these credentials to authenticate your access to the appliance. So this is my unlock code, and then this is my manifest file. So I'm gonna download my manifest file, and then I'm going to copy and paste my unlock code uh, into my clipboard and I'm going to move that manifold file um, over to the same directory as my command line. Okay so we need to start the snowball service now so I'm going to just type in uh, forward slash and then snowball and then uh, what I need to do is do I and then the oh sorry it's start and then uh, what we need to do is the uh, location network location so it's 192.168.1 dot one one six we then need to link the manifest file so we need to go uh, minus m and then we need to type in the the manifest file which i think is that one and there we go and then uh, what i need to do is then uh, enter in my unlock code and this is the unlock code for my manifest so it's minus u and i just uh, went back over to my browser and got it from the snowball splash screen uh, and that should be it go ahead and hit enter and that should start up my snowball. Uh, there you go. So it says ready to transfer. When you're finished, run snowball stop. Uh, so we're all ready to transfer over um, our, our appliance. Um, so in order to do that, I'm just going to create a, a new file. Um, so it's just going to be echo hello cloud gurus and going to output that to a hello.txt file. Uh, so if we type in ls, we can see my hello.txt. If I nano hello.txt, you can just have a look and make sure it's in there. So there you go. I can't believe we're actually going to send this to Amazon on a snowball. Uh, so I'm going to clear the screen. Okay, so now it's really, really easy to use. All I need to do is type in snowball. Actually, I'll just do it like this. So snowball and then copy. And then we need our file name, so it's hello.txt. And then we need the directory um, or the, the bucket uh, namespace that we uh, created for this snowball job. Now, if you do forget it, you can come over here to your browser, go view job details, click on details, and in uh, here you can see resources bucket. And so mine's called A Cloud Guru Snowball. So I'm just going to copy that uh, into my clipboard, paste it in here, and then go ahead and hit enter. And there we go, it has now transferred my file over to my Snowball and it is all ready to be sent back to Amazon. So we've created an eight byte file. Uh, we have transferred it over to our Snowball and uh, now I'm going to arrange for Amazon to come and uh, pick the Snowball up. We're gonna send it back to AWS and they're going to then transfer that uh, text file over to my S3 bucket. So I really hope you have enjoyed this uh, lecture, guys. Um, again, it's just good to know what a Snowball is at a high level and how it all works. If you ever do um, you know, go out and get one, they are lots of fun. Um, but don't do what I did and just copy one single text file uh, and then put it into S3. I might actually do a local backup of our A Cloud Guru directory, um, or of our A Cloud Guru file server and put that into S3. So I might not just send them back a text file, uh, but we'll see. Okay, so if you've got any questions, please let me know. If not, feel free to move on to the next lecture. Thank you.